In this demo, we're going to show you how easy and quick it is to replicate your Oracle data to a cloud data warehouse and analyze it in a BI tool. In this example, we're going to replicate dummy salary data to Redshift, leveraging Oracle's log miner, and then show the distribution of salaries within the company in Redash. I click on Add New Input, go for Oracle, I give this a name. Set up credentials real quick. And we're going to use the log replication method, which means we're going to use Oracle's log miner. Click finish and have Aluma validate the credentials. And there we go, we're all set. We're going to wait a few seconds and we're going to see events already coming in. Let's go to Aluma Live for that. Only took about, what, 10 seconds? Um, and we already can see the data flowing as it comes in. We can click on a sample, um, for example, what table this is. This is the employees table, and you can see the data coming in already. This is modeled by Aluma, and you can see all the metadata attributes are here. For example, you can see that an insert was run on Oracle that triggered the event to come in. Uh, now let's go ahead and see what the tables look like in Redshift. Uh, for that, we'll go to our mapper screen. And we can see that the Oracle employees table correlates to the Aluma schema and the employees table in Redshift. On the left side, you can see the column names that are coming in from Oracle. In the middle, those are the Redshift column names. And to the right, we have the Redshift data types that you can see are different than the Oracle ones. Now let's go ahead and query our table uh, with Redash. We have a little company salary distribution graph. Going to click refresh to get the most up-to-date data and there you have it um, to conclude here we've demonstrated how to replicate Oracle to a cloud data warehouse in just one easy step if you're interested in learning more you should check out aluma.com